Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be taking you through the process of getting Drupal Commerce up and running on your Drupal site. Now, this uh, tutorial assumes that you already have Drupal installed somewhere and that you're familiar with installing modules on Drupal. If you're not familiar with those things, please check out our videos on the Level Up Tuts YouTube channel on how to install Drupal and how to install a module. Now, we're on drupal.org slash project slash commerce. And if you scroll down here, you'll see installation instructions. Go ahead and open this. And also come down here and download the latest version, uh, this gzip file, if you have not already. And in the installation and uninstallation page here, it's going to give you a little bit of information about dependencies. So this module is required to have address field, C tools, entity, rules, and views. For the sake of this video, I already have these modules installed, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. However, if your site does not have any of these modules, please download and install them now. Um, and if you look down here, it actually gives you a really handy Drush command that you can run, well, several Drush commands that you can run to enable all of the modules that you need to enable to get commerce running. Since we're doing this in a little bit more uh, descriptive way, we're going to do it manually. Uh, however, if you have Drush and you're used to Drush, by all means, you can use Drush to download, install, and enable all of these commerce modules relatively easily and run these commands to enable them right here. Cool, so there's just some other stuff here. You might, it's might worth checking out. However, the installation process is pretty smooth. So uh, I have my Drupal modules open here. And you can see here my finder window that this is what's included within that commerce module. We have the basic, uh, we have the UI module, we have the commerce module itself, and then we have a whole bunch of other modules that are needed. We have cart, checkout, customer, line item, order, payment, price, product, pricing, and product reference. Uh, what's great about commerce is that it breaks all this stuff up individually. However, as you can see, compared to most Drupal modules, this module is considerably larger. So to install, I'm going to drag over the commerce folder like normal to our modules and sites all modules. Uh, like I said, if you need instructions on how to do that, check out our video. And now I'm going to Actually, it looks like it didn't make it quite in there. There we go. Uh, I'm going to refresh a page here, uh, and we should start seeing commerce. Now, I'm using a module called Module Filter to have this nice interface for modules, but if you don't have it, it's just going to be in the grouping of commerce. And as you can see, there are 21 modules here. Now, which of these do you need to enable? Well, we're actually going to enable all of them because as you can see, they all have pretty critical components. We have our cart, our checkout, uh, Drupal commerce as a whole. Um, as you can see, pretty much all of these require commerce. Uh, commerce UI, of course, customer, customer UI, line item, line item UI. And like I said, you could run that Drush command if you have Drush installed to um, to have all of these enabled. Uh, we actually don't need payment method example installed, but we're gonna install or enabled, but we're gonna enable it anyways, just so we can see that example. In fact, it's really helpful to see how they've done things to know exactly what's going on. Also, if you want to install Commerce Kickstart as a separate Drupal account or separate Drupal site, it's also really interesting to see how they have it configured so you sort of know where things are in a pre-configured setting. Let's click Save Configuration here and it's going to enable these modules. Great, so we now have these modules enabled and if you'll notice, uh, I mean, not a whole lot's changed, but we do have this brand new store link in our main navigation. Selecting store is going to give you some options, customer profiles, orders, products, and configuration. Now, this is going to be where all of your store configuration, administration, that sort of stuff is taking place. 
And that's good that they keep it all together. You don't have to go through several configuration menus or anything to find anything. So let's check out customer profiles. You can see there isn't a customer profile yet. Um, of course, we're going to create one and there are different types of profile types as well. Um, now let's actually come back to store inside of orders. This is going to be where all of the orders are. Obviously, if somebody's placing an order, it's going to get filled in here. As well as an administrator, you can create an order yourself. You can also view the shopping carts that people have you know, put things in and that exist on the system. That way you can sort of monitor what people have in their card and things like that. Um, and that could be really helpful for any sort of store owner. Now we also have products. And now products are going to be an interesting subject because they don't work the same way they do on some other platforms. Now if you're coming from something like Magento, products might be a little bit confusing, but we're gonna clear that up and explain exactly how that exists in, in this system. Now we also have configuration, and here we have a lot of stuff. Checkout settings, currency settings, line item types, order settings, payment methods, uh, product pricing rules, and taxes. So as you can see here, there's a whole host of things that come with the base commerce install. And you know, while it is missing some things, which we'll find out sooner or later, it's probably for the best that those things aren't included and are add-ons. So we now have Drupal Commerce installed on our site and we have this up and running. That's excellent. In the next video, we're going to be creating our first product and explaining how a product in Drupal Commerce uh, exists and what that means for your store. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Facebook or Twitter or Level Up Tuts forum or pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Check it out and I'll see you in the next one.